travel line. You are on the air, my timeline. Actually. Hello, Art. Hello there. Well, I had to call back on your second uh, timeline. I, I called, was it was it a month ago? Uh, I like it, moments to me. <laughs> it's been about a month since yeah, I did the first no, time. My, my name is Michael. I'm the, uh, the pilot of the uh, nonlinear transdimensional transport vehicle. From the year? 2037. Well, 2037 is my report in year. Report in year? Yeah, that's, that's my, my point of origin where, where I go to, you know, all right, and you're, go out on my next assignment. <laughs> you're going to have to remind me. Your purpose here is my purpose at this at this moment in time, in in at this day, or well, your general purpose in uh, for time travel. Oh well, I I'm I'm a trained pilot for for a vehicle, and and I I go out with missions with with other teams. I'm just a, a plane pilot, basically. There's nothing extraordinary about it like a 737 jockey something like that well you know more like a uh a, a charter flight let's say charter flight that's very good well, yeah all right i have a number of questions sent to me by listeners uh, which i would like to try out on you now you're welcome not to answer any of them that you well I'll, I'll give you a thing about about my uh well discuss with 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 other people who have been calling going well i can't say that and stuff um for, for me to say or them to say anything on the air isn't going to cause a paradox unless I'm talking about a specific person who may be listening. Like if I say I know what's going to happen to Richard Hovind, you know that could be a paradox. But me, you know, you know, you can ask away with anything because of the, Richard Hovind is a paradox. <laughs> he will be. He will be redeemed. And well, I shouldn't say that. Oh well, you I can could. say that if you want to. No, well, he'll, uh, some, it, you know, he'll he'll eventually be redeemed, which which will certainly make him quite happy. But at at around, well, I wouldn't. Get, well, we'll say around twenty ten. Twenty ten. Well, be that's a, good. A, that's a, good. A cult be, following around him, which is a cult following. Yeah, it's kind of scary. <laughs> Richardites. Richard, Richardites, exactly. Uh, all right, uh, let me try a couple of questions on you. Okay. One is, uh, why do you have to be here personally to observe? Wouldn't it be safer to use a robotic or video unit uh, uh, or a time machine view screen rather than physically traveling in time? Well, you could do that, but but it, when you're, as, as for me, if, if I travel, when I travel and I write re my reports into, we'll call them my superiors, quote unquote. It, the, the personal experience is much more enriching, and, 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 and your observations are quite different when you're personally there rather than sitting Nothing in a room like with a robot and a sure. camera, you know. Nothing like being there. All right, uh, what happens if you get killed in a car accident or, say, die of a brain aneurysm while here in this time? I don't get in cars in this time. Are you crazy? <laughs> I have my own vehicle. <laughs> I fly, you know. Good answer. Um, okay, uh, let's see. Uh, what about our particular time do you find strange or curious or even irritating? Um, well, this particular timeline, I mean, there's, there's an infinite number of timelines, and um, but the, they all fairly correlate with each other, except for some extreme circumstances. Um, one of them is, is what's going on in Phoenix, and 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 that's going to be happening more and more. Really, uh, the next hot spot is San Diego. San Diego. And in fact, I don't know if you may have been getting reports lately of of, of um, sightings there. Now, well, San Diego actually, be... actually, uh, that's a very good point. There have been sightings now, as you all know, in Phoenix, right. and uh, down in Georgia, and up in Medford, Oregon, and all over the place. There are just sightings, more and more and more of them. Uh, where is this leading? It is leading to to a, a change. I mean, I mean, the, the, these these ships are, are are operated by 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 two different beings. One might say a paradigm shift. Um, <laughs> maybe. Uh, no, no, I wouldn't say that. No. All right. Uh, uh, it, sorry, it, I it, did that. It's leading to to a, a, an awakening, and and certainly the. The eventual and gladly destruction of the, the Bilderberg Group. <laughs> the Bilderbergers? Yeah. The poor Bilderbergers. Yeah. All right. Uh, in our time, we are plagued with cancer. Mm -hmm. What what causes it? Do we ever find out, or how it can be avoided or cured? Um, it'll be cured, but you know, to tell you the truth, I don't know what causes it. That's something I never looked into. I mean, you can't say that that, that all time travelers know everything. <laughs> That's that just happens to be a a a. Uh, uh, 
You're just an area that, that I, I'm not well informed in, but I, I, I you know, eventually there will be a carrier. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, so you're just sort of a regular guy, time traveler, pilot type. Well, yeah, pretty much so. Okay, um, is there a crisis ahead? Uh, everybody wants to know about that. Uh, we have remote seers and viewers and prophets and so forth, all of whom say that there is a very difficult time uh, rather immediately ahead. Um, well, there are several, and, and however, your timeline could split. I mean, right now, if you and I are, and, and everyone else at this point is sitting in this timeline, right? but they could split on, on various things that would happen. Well, one thing I find extremely interesting, I mean, there, there are, as far as I could tell, an infinite number of, of timelines, but they, in order for a split to happen, something major has to happen. Like I've noticed, there's only one timeline where Kennedy was not killed. Really? And that that timeline that I've been in, um, it was just a disaster. So evidently, he had to be killed. I mean, because he he wasn't killed in that timeline, and everything went downhill after that. Everyone, you know, people like to speculate, oh, if he if he lived, you know. From a time point of view, then we should be thanking our lucky stars that he was killed. Um. Yes. Yeah pretty weird way to think about it but uh, the alternative was I guess according to you unthinkable what did occur in the timeline where Kennedy lived well the timeline where Kennedy lived he, he ex exposed his knowledge on on extraterrestrial visitations which was which is what he he had threatened to do uh, too early and yeah and and he completely disrupted the CIA and, and but basically the, the world of that world at that time was not able to handle the information he put out in it. Well, he didn't like the CIA. I mean, that's well known. Yeah. But now, uh, can you tell us, uh, uh, these files, of course, on Kennedy have been sealed for 50 years, mm -hmm. and we all don't r know what the real story is. Do you? I don't, and I don't think anyone ever will. I, I've never really looked into it that deeply. So then, in other words, the eventual press conference on the release of the Kennedy files was kind of like the Air Force news conference pretty, at Roswell. Pretty much. They'll, they'll, they'll just keep telling you stories. I mean, it's one story that, that e even even with the advent of, of, of the world knowing about various extraterrestrial uh, encounters, that, that story will, will never come out, and they're connected. But All right. there's too many families, uh, old, rich families involved that don't want that. Right. Speaking of old rich families, what uh, what's the rule regarding stock market investments, uh, that sort of thing? Obvious knowledge that you could put to good practical financial use. Well, I have I have no need for financial use. I I, I have my job that I do. So, right. I you, mean, I mean, I I I could go and look. You know? Did you hear the intriguing facts that I read from the man who claims he's sending me pictures of coins from the future? I, I did. I, I caught part of it. Now he said the person he was in contact with was, was what like a, 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 a just traveling around. It was like a like on a bus or something. Or? It was the person that he would eventually marry. Right. Um, I just thought that to be very intriguing. Is it possible that a physical manifestation from the future could be tossed on a table? Yes, of course. You, you, you can move objects like that. Wow. Uh, so that when I get these... Newspapers, anything like that, yeah. Really? Even a newspaper? Yeah. Wow. But, 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 but that newspaper, I mean... You... Wouldn't that be uh, off into near paradox, uh, Paradoxville? In other words, a newspaper or coins are absolute proof of the future. Not necessarily. It could be proof of only one future. Uh -huh. if, if, for instance, I brought you a newspaper from 50 years, well, there aren't years in 50 years. Let's say I brought you a newspaper from 10 years ago. Yes. Or 10 years ahead. Ahead. And Especially. I gave it to you. Yes. yes. <clears throat> but that could be from a different timeline. So none of it might really come to pass. Um, various events might not come to pass. It depends on what timeline you, 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 may, you may shift into. Well, that's intriguing. Right which depends on events. Now, are you able to influence those events and shift us into a different timeline? That is part of my job, yes. My, my last mission was, I went back to 1933 to, to stop Operation Southern Cross, as they like to call it, because that was just bad news, at least in one timeline anyway. So in other words, we're constantly, in effect, improving on the future. Exactly pretty good job if you can it, get it. It yeah. seems though, like, as I said, in order to shift the timeline, it has to be something major. It can't be like you make a decision 
to your right instead of left. That that won't affect a time a timeline shift. Okay. I mean, it, it has to and it has to be more. Very few individuals could do it. I mean, it takes a group or a group event or a major event to 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 for that to happen. So it's a carefully researched change. Mm, pretty much that. Mm -hmm. All right. Well, as usual, I thank you for calling in and okay, uh, Art, yeah, right. Uh, thank you and, very much. Sir. And I'm going to call in to your next one, which will be in a couple minutes to me. <laughs> That'll be interesting. <laughs> right. Thank you. That's my uh, time traveler from 2037.